Hi, I'm Mark McCaffrey, McCaffrey's Home Inspection. I serve the Chicago land area. I'm just going to show you a little bit about how I go about inspecting a boiler. This boiler is on right now. Sounds like it's running really nicely. So the first thing I do is I try to figure out the age of this boiler and the general condition. General condition, I'm looking to see if there's any excess rust, things like that. I don't see that at first glance. To get the age, I have to go and check the manufacturing or the serial number. This one has it in the serial number, so it's a 1988 boiler. It was uh, manufactured in that year. This boiler has about a 30, maybe 35 year lifespan, so it's about 23, 24 years old. I would recommend a boiler of this age. Every year have someone come in, have them service it, um, and, and get it ready for the, the new heating se season. This up here is the expansion tank on the boiler. The expansion tank allows the boiler, when, when it heats up the water, the molecules expand, increasing the pressure, and so this releases some of the pressure um, when that hot water heats up. This right here is the flue for the boiler, the carbon monoxide is going up and out the flue. This is a single wall flue. This basement looks like the kids play ping pong here. It looks like they, they've got their video games over there. I would recommend a double walled B type flue. Um, and that flue should have an overlap with screws in it instead of just an epoxy to bring those, uh, those different pieces together. Also, this slope is not right. It should be a quarter inch per every foot. So I recommend that this flue be replaced by an HVAC technician. As we move around the boiler, we see right here, this red thing is the, the pump for the boiler. So that circulates the water through the radiators up through the house. Right here, this little motor is the fan for the carbon monoxide to move that up and out of the house. This is what is called the aquastat. Basically, this is just the thermometer for the boiler. Right over here, we have the temperature release valve right here. So if that pressure gets too great, it's the pressure relief release valve. If it gets too great, that will open up and relieve the pressure. So you can do this at home. On your boiler, you've got two settings, two readings right there. One is the temperature and the one is the pressure. When you look at the temperature, you want it right in about the 120 uh, degree range. And so that is what that is right there. It's at about 118, according to that. The second thing you want to look at is the pressure, uh, the PSI, the pressure in the, the, in the boiler. Right now it's at 20. If it starts getting up, pushing on 30, then you probably should have someone come in and take a look at it. All right, so what I would do next is I would shut this boiler down with the control switch, the electricity switch over there, the electrical switch. I would come around here. I would pull this cover off right here. I would open that up, and I would try to get a good look at the heat exchanger. Now, the heat exchanger is the heart and soul of this boiler. When that heat exchanger goes, and it will at some point, maybe in 30 years, who knows, maybe in 35 years, when that heat exchanger goes, you're going to have to replace this boiler. Same with the furnace. It's the main component. And so I always advise people to put a carbon monoxide detector here in the basement, because if you're going to, if you're going to get cracks in that uh, heat exchanger, then that's going to let the carbon monoxide out. And so if you have the carbon monoxide detector here, you get the first time you'll, 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 hear, you'll know about it early on. Now, to look at that heat exchanger, I'm just going to see the bottom of it. I'm looking for any cracks, any excessive corrosion. Um, but, but I'm probably seeing 10 to 15 percent of that heat exchanger. If you wanted to have the, the heat exchanger completely um, uh, inspected, you'd have to pull off the casing. They drop a camera down in there, and they'll fully inspect it for you. Next thing I'll do is, is go and I will turn the electricity back on, fire this boiler up. I'll look at the, um, the flame in there, look at the burners, see if it's burning nice and blue and true, if it's doing any wavering, we've got issues. If there's too much yellow in it, streaked yellow throughout that flame, it may be dirty, it may be some other issues. All right, so that's basically how you go, out, go about inspecting a boiler. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Mark McCaffrey. Thanks.